Hey everybody, it's Tanya at Hummingbird Painery. Sorry I'm late today. I worked overtime and I'm just now getting home. Traffic wasn't too bad. That's the only blessing about this. So hopefully I'll get some people to come on. We're gonna make, this is gonna be our little stand and this is gonna be our little watermelon piece. And then we've got our little aunt. Hey Rose Miller, it's good to see you. Let me get a couple things over here in case I need to cut it and cut everything. Hey Lori, hey Diane, it's good to see you. And uh, Rose, and hey Mickey, how are you doing? Hey Diana. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're just gonna try to do this real quick. I'm really tired today. I didn't sleep very well last night. Hey Tommy, hey Terry, it's so good to see you. So I'm just gonna see how to put this together here for the ant. All right, so that's pretty good. And let's do this side. We want our arms to be a little bit long just so we can um, let her hold the watermelon slice. So let me see here. I'm trying to get the hand. Y'all have already seen me do this. Hey, Peggy Simmons, or Simon, excuse me. Hey, Miss Pat Tyner. Hey, Denise, it's good to see you. All right, I think my glue is coming out now. Hey, Mary Banks, it's good to see y'all. I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue on the end of it, and then we're gonna put, I wanna use this when it's prettier. And then we're gonna do the same thing. Good evening. Hopefully everybody had a good Wednesday. My Wednesday was pretty good, it's just I'm tired, really. Hey Lynn, it's good to see you, and Peggy, Terry, are you going back into the swing of things after your vacation? Hey Hannah and Jermaine, it's good to see you, and Michelle, um, yes, pretty much, it just is so busy, and it's just hard. You know, I, I was glad to be off, and I felt invigorated and so happy. Um, but I'm just, it's hard right now, but, um, I'm making it. I'm doing pretty good. Hey, Patty. It's good to see you. You're tired too, Hannah. Way too hot today. You're right. It is really hot out there. All right. That didn't do very well on this side. Let me try to put a little bead over here. I shouldn't have touched it. All right, so I just try to put a little bit on there so the arms don't move so much. There we go. <laughs> All right, hello. Okay, she said she's tired too, Hannah did. All right, so we're gonna do the legs just like we've been doing. And we're gonna do this twice, <clears throat> you know, two pieces that we're gonna put together. And I'm just going to hold these two together, and then we're just going to do it with uh, our hands. Hey, Rita. Your bedroom is currently 88. Woo! With the portable AC. Look, I'm making it all kind of something. I'm not paying attention. Look at that crinkle in there. Cat sleeping 20 hours a day instead of only 18. Ugh. <sighs> I didn't sleep good last night because I didn't turn the air on early enough. And so it was kind of hot in here when I went to bed. So let me see here. We got to make this little on the end here so we can put our little bead over it for the little feet. Let me see. Wait a minute. I know I'm going to have to do this a little bit closer. So sometimes I got to pinch it. Hey, Martha. Or Marsha and Rita. All right. Let me put some hot glue on here. I'll just put a little dab. And then I'm going to stick this over it. And I kind of just go to the very tip end of it. And then I just leave it like that. We can, we can paint it. So that's the reason. Hey, Miss Brittany. It's good to see you. 
So I'm going to hold this and we're just going to twist. I'm doing okay, Miss Brittany. I'm just tired and I rushed home. But thank goodness traffic wasn't bad. So we're good. All right. Let me just pinch this a little bit because it won't go through that little hole if I don't. You can't sleep when it's hot. No, I can't either. And I finally, when it got cold, cold enough, I should say, then, let me do this. This is a little bit too much. When it got cold, then it was the middle of the night, so I woke back up because I was too cold. So I can't win for losing. That's for sure. All right, so we're going to put a little bit of hot glue on the other end, okay? Just like we did before. This is more of those little spinner gourds. And I'm just going to stick that in there. We're going to have this right here. Well, get in there, booger. There we go. All right. So we want to push it a little bit further. There we go. Now they're about even. I'm going to try to get some of the extra hot, hot glue off of here. We don't need all that hot glue. Hey, Peggy, thank you. I love these little things. I keep wanting to make the ants and the ladybugs. I'm going to try to do the ant different this time. Hey, Miss Abby, I'm going to try to do it like the um, little um, ladybug with the face. All right. So I've got some of this hot glue on here. Let me hold it for just a second. I'm going to try to get this piece off. There we go. That's just a little bit too much hot glue. I'll work on it when we're done. There we go. Get some of the little strings off of there. All right. So there it is. And we're just going to paint the whole thing black, including the arms. Well, not the arms, but the hands and the feet. Okay, we're just going to do all of that black like an ant is. And I know ants really have three little parts, but I only did two because I think it looks cuter that way. So that's, that's my ant anyway. So I'm going to use this so we can paint it. And then we're going to make the face with a cream color face, or I say cream, but it's really kind of a peachy color like skin is. We're going to do that for the face instead of trying to do it with white paint. And that'll be a, a little bit better. I'm going to try to bend these this way so I can hold it with her hands and then go ahead and do the body or I can hold the feet, either one. Doesn't matter, I guess. And this way you can cover up where the, the um, hot glue is there at the arms, everything will be black. And the same thing for the legs. Because I did buy this from Amazon, this uh, 20 gauge. Actually, it was 18 gauge wire. Hey, Miss Cindy, how are you doing? Miss Pat. All right, so we want to get it good and black all over. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything. Let's see. Let me try to do the hands while I'm holding legs. Hey, Carolyn, it's good to see you. Hey, Christina. And how are you doing, Miss Pat? Hopefully good. Both Miss Pats, Miss Tyner and my right hand lady. Can't ever say her name. I don't know how, how you pronounce it. I should have known by now. All right, let me get some of the inside of this so you don't see the cream color of the bead. So there's her arms and there's her body. I say her because I usually like to put a bow on it or something. We don't have to. It could be a boy. 
So let me dry it and then we'll do the feet. Hey, Shalon. It's good to see you. And Kristen. All right, so we're gonna dry this off. We've gotta get the front good because we wanna make sure to put that peachy color on there. The S is silent. Zekli? Or is it Zekli? I start physical therapy tomorrow on my right shoulder. Oh my goodness. What'd you do? Oh, because of your arm, Miss Pat. The other Miss Pat. Yeah. Golly. Alright, so I'm just going to hold the body and we're going to do the feet real quick. And then we'll paint our watermelon. Hopefully your physical therapy does good so you can get back normal. Now what color should we do the bottom? Should we do it just a stain or a color? What do y'all think for the bottom of the... It's going to be our little... I don't know what you want to call this. That it's going to sit on the first one. Okay. I should know this by now, but I just don't. All right, so we're going to set this down. I'm going to bend it. I'm going to move her arms out a little bit. We're just going to have it just like this, like it's sitting down. So we're just going to let those dry, those little feet. And we'll figure that out in a minute. So what do y'all think? Do you think that this should be painted or do you think it ought to be stained? Because it doesn't matter. We know we don't want black. Rotator cuff repair. Good gracious alive. I hope I don't have to have that done. That's for sure. We could stain it or we can paint it. I don't know. Y'all tell me what you think and I'll go ahead and um, do this. Hey, Jenny Ramirez. I hadn't seen you in a little bit. Green, she said. Yeah, it could be green. Let me see here. Let me get a green for... That's too blue. Boy, you can't tell with this, um, I got all these greens in here. Here we go. I'm going to use this. This is that lush foliage. I'm going to use it for the outside and put a little bit of the darker color if I can find it. Oh, goodness. It's got a big old blob on the top of it. Let's see. Get the blob off. You just finished two months ago physical therapy for a frozen shoulder. Terry, I went through that frozen shoulder thing too. I thought I'd never, never get well. So I'm with you. All right, this is hunter green. We're going to need it. Let's see here. I'm going to use this one that doesn't have the black on it. Ouchie, shoulder surgery, no joke. Yes, it's sure no joke. You got that right. And then I want to do kind of a darker red. This is that one that's got too much water in it. So we're going to use this kind of a burgundy color instead of using red red. I just like it better. So we're going to do this. The outside rind here is going to be green. And I'm going to put two different kind of greens on there. That fro frozen shoulder is no joke, y'all. I thought I would never... I had to do a little bit of physical therapy. Mostly just nothing. But um, I try to do exercises at home because I don't have time to do physical therapy. I went a couple times to the chiropractor and he kind of stiffened it up and told me some stuff to do. So he was really good. He really helped me. I don't know if y'all have ever been to the chiropractor before. I'm just going to do a little bit. Just right here on the edge. And I'm going to do the darker color too. 15 years ago. It's just terrible. I mean, the older we get, it's just tough on us, you know? I thought I was in pretty good shape, but and I didn't do anything. At least I didn't feel like I did anything to my shoulder, but evidently 
No matter what you do, you just really got to watch what you do. Hey, Linda Shearer, it's good to see you. All right, so we're just going to put some of this in with this. Just like that. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get it right on the edge here. And then we're just going to go like this. I'm going to do half of this one. There. That way it's this color. Kind of a medium tone. Hey, Paula Kemp. It's good to see you. So we're just going to go around. We're talking about frozen shoulders and stuff. Stuff going on with our shoulders. It's just... It's terrible. And then I... Have y'all ever had a... Um, Trigger finger. Hey, Wendy, it's good to see you. All right. So, this is going to be the green part, the rind of the watermelon. So, let me get this out of the way. This is really dirty. So, I need to use my other one here. <laughs> it looks so cool. I hope so. It'll be cute when we get finished. But instead of using red red we're gonna use Ooh, this is too burgundy that ain't gonna work all right hold on i have all these colors here it is this is the color i want right here burgundy is not gonna do it but we're gonna put a little bit of it on there this was 47 cents at and this is multi multi stuff multi things whatever the word is hey miss elaine it's good to see you they they covered my word so now i don't know what it is multi-surface that's the word multi-surface and so and we're going to use a little bit of white because y'all know white's in between the green and the red right hey natalie gosh natalie's my co-worker and my friend I made it. It's a miracle. So I'm going to put a little bit. This is too big. I can't use that brush. So let me see here. I got to get a smaller one. Got all these brushes. All right. This one will probably do good. Hey, Miss Janet Sherman. It's good to see you. How's Manny? And Jason. They're my friends. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of white right here. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side and right here, just a little bit. Natalie, we didn't leave until 6.15. They're busy, I figure they're busy. We need to, we can cover up just a little bit. All right. So now we've got our white, our rind, and then our white that's in between there. And so next we're going to do the red. Hey, Miss Shirley Reed. It's good to see you. Miss Janet, your little grandson, so cute. Have y'all seen her grandson, y'all? I don't know if y'all follow Miss um, Janet. But she, he's adorable. Manny's little nephew, so cute. All right, so we're gonna cover this. And this is kind of a deeper red. It's not as bright and kind of pinky looking as this one. So I know he's so much fun. I wish I had a grandbaby, maybe one day. Of course, my kids are getting older. They better hurry up and do something. I guess I shouldn't push them because they need to be wanting one, I guess. But it'd just be nice. All right. So we're just going to take this and we're just going to go like this. Mm 
It's got a little bit of green on here. Maybe I had it on my hands. You have six and one great grandson. Wow. Ooh, I don't want no great ones. Not yet. Which I wouldn't. It'd take a long time, I suppose, to have great ones. Unless it was by marriage or something. You have three grandchildren, Miss Rita. Well, they sure are fun. Maybe I just need to borrow somebody's. Give them back. I'm going to kind of take this brush... And just kind of go, I should have done it on the other side, but I didn't. And just kind of stipple the paint right here. Just make a little, because it just gives it a little texture right there. And then I can paint the rest of it in. And I'm going to put a little bit of that burgundy color on there. Just to give it a little bit of something instead of just the plain. Let me do this one too. Let me do this. I don't know why I want to do that, but we're going to do it. There. It just gives it a little bit of something just to be on the sides there instead of just a straight around. How about yellow on the base? Yeah, yellow could be pretty. What do y'all think? Red? Uh, yellow? Sounds like a good idea to me. Alright, we're just putting this to deepen it up a little bit. I know that seems kind of weird, but it's going to make it a little bit darker color. I'm putting the burgundy on here. You're not really seeing the burgundy that much unless I leave it on there blobbed. But see how much darker that side is than this one? It's really bright. And we're just toning that down, and it also covers up that green that got on there on accident. Hey, Miss Nelda, you cut up a watermelon today. You did. Do you know I love the smell of watermelon, but I can't stand it? I don't like it at all. I don't know what it is. It's not very good to me. Ugh. All right. I think it's a texture thing. I don't know. Just doesn't seem good to me. All right, let's do some on the top. We can't have it real red right there. And then, and then we got to do our little black seeds. All right, there we go. So it's a lot deeper, okay? They're saying, hello, how are you, Jason? Hey, Jason. It's good to see you on here. Say hey to Manny. I'm going to um, do this. You don't like watermelon either, Miss Cindy? I sure don't. I don't like it. But it smells good. But, ooh, it don't taste like it smells to me. Woo! That's hot. Hold on. Let me try to... Woo, let me hold it with something else. You love watermelon and cantaloupe? I don't like cantaloupe either. I think it's a texture thing. What do y'all think? I don't like it. Let's see. There we go. Hold on to it. Let me dry it real good on the sides. It makes a difference, doesn't it? Hey, Miss Dorinda. It's good to see you. All right. So now it's a lot deeper, right? And it looks a lot better. Hey, Miss Patty. It's good to see you. I'm glad you're better, Miss Terry. We've missed you. I was wondering where you were at. All right. So let's do... We're going to take our little brush. We're going to get some black, which I already have on here because we painted our little ant. And I'm going to do it upside down. We're going to do it like this. I'm going to take this, and then we're doing it just like that, okay? We probably need to do it a little bit bigger, but my brush is not as big. Let's see here. There we go. That's better. And we're going to do one right here, and then you just lift up on it. And then one right here, 
and you lift up on it. See there? And let me dry this and then we'll do the other side. That way I can lay it flat on either one. Yeah, I know who y'all are. I'm getting to know everybody. I'm making some new friends, too. Miss Terry's been here for a long time, and Miss Pat and Miss Elaine, they were like some of the first ones. Uh-oh. Thing made a, a blurb on there. Look at that. Oh, mercy. Well, then we're going to make big ones. I should have been paying attention. This one didn't do too bad. I'll try to do some. What did it do that for? Golly. Let me see about the red. Let's see if we can go on it right here. We'll fix it. Just about all the time you can fix it. All right, let's try this again. You need to do it upside down. I don't have enough black. That's what my problem is. There we go. Woo! All right. All right, we got our happy mistake. I know it. I wasn't paying attention. And it, have y'all ever used the heat tool? And it um, it'll blow up. It'll make like little bubbles on the paint. It's bizarre. I just need to dry it enough. Woo! It's hot. All right, that's good. It's pretty dry, but it's not all the way dry. So we're going to work on the face while it dries. Hey, Miss Carrie. Hey, Miss Cheryl. It's good to see y'all. All right, so we're going to get our peachy color right here. That's pink. Too bad. Not right one. And this is coral. And that's orange. <laughs> every, every color but what I need. Here it is. Sun-kissed peach, okay, is what we're going to use. This is going to be the face. So we're going to do this instead of doing the white on here. I think it will be better. You love the watermelon? Thank you so much. All right, let's see. I still I need my brush, so we're going to have to get all the black off of it because we don't want that to be on there. And we're just going to do just like we did with the ladybug. And we're going to make kind of a heart. Heart-shaped face. It kind of is a heart, but it's also... It's rounded towards the end, of course. but it kind of looks like a heart. So once I get this part on here, I'll show you. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Okay, but we're gonna cover all that up. Wasn't to make some ants and ladybugs. I'm not sure exactly, wasn't to make some ants and ladybugs. I'm not sure what your question is, Linda, or your statement. Yeah, we're doing an ant today that's going to hold the watermelon. We're going to put it on this. We've got to paint the base. So let me try to get this really smooth right here. So he'll, he or she, whichever one we decide to do it. Try to do two coats here. All right, there we go. Every time I think I got it, then it kind of wants to do a, a line. All right, so maybe that's good. Let me see. 
We're going to have to think of some more little characters. I know I'm going to do an apple and a worm. We're going to do that next. Woo! Hot, hot, hot. All right. But it's dry. It was real quick. So we're going to make a little face for this. Thank you for those hearts. I love it when y'all give me hearts. That means you'd like it. Hey, Miss Cheryl Nunn. It's good to see you. Did you have a good day? All right. So we're going to use some brown too. I want to use the brown I always use. That brown oxide is my favorite brown for like doing the sides of stuff and outlining. Hey, Miss Tina, Terry, it's good to see you. So I'm going to thank you for those hearts, ladies. And I'm going to try to do the outside of this a little bit. I just want it to look more like a little face. So we're gonna outline it. Normally, if it were bigger, I would use the flat brush and just kind of float that on. But this is so tiny that you almost have to just paint it on there instead of floating it on. So just take a little bitty bit and go on the edge. Even if you go on the black a little bit, it's okay. And I'll show it to you when I get to the end here. I've got two thirds of it done. All right, so that kind of gives it a more defined look. See the line where the brown is and then it's right at the black. Hey, Miss Patty, it's good to see you. So we're gonna go ahead and paint the little eyes on like we've been doing. You've gotta have a really pointy brush. We're gonna get a little bit of black and we're gonna go right here and draw our little hump. I call it our little hump. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so it's gonna look like this at first, a frog and a fly. Oh, we need to do a frog and a fly. What goes good with the frog? I wanna do that next. Okay, it starts out like this, remember? So a frog and a fly. Oh, that's a good idea. It's like, what else could I do? Man, I need to write that down. Miss Pat, write that down. <laughs> so I don't forget. Eek. You didn't get your notification? It's okay, Miss Lindy. I was late today. I rushed really bad, so it's okay. I got here about six or seven minutes late we haven't finished yet it's good to see you oh a lily pad oh y'all are giving some good ideas i gotta do that now and put a frog on top of the lily pad you are so genius miss pat oh my goodness the fly on the frog oh yes oh y'all are making me want to do some i gotta go out in the garage now oh my goodness Frog and a fly. Oh my goodness. And on a lily pad. Oh yeah, we're gonna do that. That's just way too cute. Because we've done ants for a couple times. We've done ladybugs for a couple times. Now we gotta do something else. The frog sounds good. Alright, let me get some of this off of here. You can't have a whole lot of of uh, paint and you really need new white paint so i'm gonna try to get some new yep goodness that is so cute yeah miss pat write that down for me and message me you're waking up now yeah i am i guess man yeah it makes me want to go out in the garage all right, so we're gonna get some brown and we're gonna do brown eyes. We could do the blue eyes. And you wanna do it kinda thick because we're gonna go over it with the black. So 
So it looks kind of funny right now. We still got to put a little bit of white. Ooh, and a turtle, a different kind of turtle. We're going to, yeah. I want to do a seed turtle and do something with the sea. And I still have that knot, and I don't know what to do with the knot. i got to figure that out. It may be next year before I can figure out what to do with the knot. <laughs> but, of course, it is summer. And I know what I'm going to do for the patriotic thing. Did y'all see? Ooh, and a flamingo. Y'all stop. Y'all are so good. Yeah, I'm going to do a flamingo, too. I did buy the Dollar Tree flamingo. Did y'all see Manny's flamingo? He did two different things. And I cut mine in half, too, but I'm going to do something a little different than he did. Okay, so what we did, let me make sure I got the brown here. Let me go one little thingy over the brown. <laughs> too too light let me see here okay we're gonna get the black all right right now it looks like this okay it kind of looks funny because I've got it a lighter color instead of the dark color but we're gonna put a little bit of the black on there and then make it look better so give me just a second there we go You gotta be real gentle. Not to get it too thick on the side. But there. <laughs> He's so cute. Hey, Ann. Hey, Michelle. Thank you. Yeah, Manny rocked his flamingo, didn't he, Linda? He really did. That's so funny looking. I'm on, um, make him a little nose, okay? Like we always do. I love these. Wonder if I could do teeth on it. Hey, Julie Rogers. Thank you for those hearts. I'm gonna see. Oh my goodness. Let me see if I can make little teeth, okay? Because I'm trying to make it a little different. I just think it's funny. All right, let's see here. We're going to make a white in the middle. This ought to be hilarious. What is the name of Manny's page? It's Manny's Paper Fun. He does a few things other than paper, but he's been making a lot of flowers lately, but he did do a really cute um, flamingo out of the Dollar Tree flamingo. Your niece would love that. She's a dentist. Oh, how cute. <laughs> All right, we're going to see. I've got to be really steady-handed. Let's see what we can do. Might have to get new black, but I'm going to see. I got to get it very, very tiny so it can look like the, the teeth. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Let me do this. I'm trying to decide if I want him to have buck teeth or not. Maybe it's too small for teeth. Oh, I'm trying. Maybe no buck teeth. Uh, oh my goodness. Let me, <laughs> I don't know. 
he's funny. He's funny, y'all. Okay, hold on. I got to put him some little corner to his mouth here. <laughs> this is so funny. And I got to put him some eyelashes too, but we want to give him some little eyebrows. Hold a second. <laughs> oh, he's got some character, y'all. You know, when I don't get enough sleep, everything's funny. Hit it on accident. Hold on, I gotta put some some peachy color on there. <laughs> hey, Miss Tina, it's good to see you. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me um, put the white in the eye. Hold on. So it'll look a little better. Ugh. Come on. Don't get too much. <laughs> the teeth are something. All right, you ready? <laughs> Look at the teeth. It's so funny to me. Can't hardly wait to see. Say, hey, Monica. I got to put him some little eyelashes on there, okay? Thank you for those hearts. Isn't it funny looking, y'all? I should have probably made a bigger mouth, but he's got like a little mouth. Let me see if I can put a little bit of um, lip on there. Just a tiny bit. Where's my brush now? <laughs> got it. Got it over here. <laughs> you like it? I <laughs> know it. Isn't it funny? Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Let me put a little bit of a lip. Let's see. There's a little bit of a lip. <laughs> Thank you, Tina. You love the teeth. I think it's funny. Just turned into a lady, Lindy bug with those teeth. I know it's so funny to me. <clears throat> Sometimes things are just too funny. I'm going to put a little bit of blush on and we got to put some eyelashes because it looks funny. Hey, Miss Cindy, thank you so much for those stars. You're so sweet. I appreciate that. And I appreciate the hearts too, y'all. All right. When it's this little, it's kind of hard to get. Let me get that other brush so we can get it on there better. The eyebrow brush, or not eyebrow, but eye makeup brush is better. <laughs> so if you got to do something really small, I'm going to get it on the very end of this and it'll get where it needs to be. So let me see. And I always put some on the chin. I don't know. I just like it. And sometimes up here. Oh, that's so cute. Look look at that. Isn't he cute? My goodness. Hey, Frida. It's good to see you. Now let me um, put some little eyebrows on there. Or eyelashes, I mean. Let's see. Sometimes things amaze me. They turn out cuter than I expect, you know? Hey, Lori Goodwin. It's good to see you. All right, let me get this up. Let me get my little brush if I can find it. I keep moving it every which way. Thank you, Lindy. Thank you, Cheryl. All right, so let's get just a little bit of eye eyelashes. In case we want it to be a boy, 
We're just going to do a little bit. Just to make his face brighten up a little bit. Oh, that's cute. Okay. How about that? There she is. <laughs> I'm calling it a girl. Sprinkled with love. Thank you, Sue Watch. You're so sweet. And Lindy is a beautiful person, Miss Tina. Gives him personality. I think so, too. And he's kind of got his little head to the side. So, he's got real personality. So, I think it's cute. All right. So, we're going to put his legs apart here. Now, what color did we say we were going to do the board? Are we going to stain the board? Or are we doing it yellow, like Miss Pat said? Where did you get the wood piece? I got this, I think. What does this say? It just says wood plaques. This may have come from Hobby Lobby, but they also sometimes carry this at Dollar Tree. Um, it may not be as big as this, so I really think, hey, Sherry, Richie, it's good to see you, and Denise, you think staining it, too? I think so. I think maybe stain, because you don't want it to take away from anything, but I kind of want to do it really light, and Sue said yellow also. Y'all think yellow? Hmm. Y'all, what do you think, Lindy? You're good with color. Green or yellow? You don't want green because then it's it's going to be showing this too much. Miss Germaine says uh, stain. Yellow and white checks, Miss Elaine says. Of course you would say checks. Miss Elaine, you're always a checks lady. You know I'm not any good at any checks. Some stain. I could do a light yellow. What do you think? Yellow? What do you think? Stain. I'm getting about half and half, so whatever Lindy says. Do you think stain? I know, right? I think it too, but I, I'm going to use very little stain. Can you blend yellow with the stain? I might. Let me... You know, I kind of acquired something at work today. Hold on. <laughs> so... So I don't have to get stain on my hand here. So let's see. Put, I know I'm putting you in the hot seat. Well, it's because everybody's half and half. Thank you, Diane, for sending those stars. So I think I'm going to, let's just see. Let me see what yellow I might have. And we'll put a little yellow on there. This is a bright yellow. But let's just see a little bit. We'll put a little, ooh, I put a lot, didn't I? I wonder if I could stain it yellow. Let's try that instead of actually painting it. Let me put a little bit of this. Ooh, that kind of, let's see. Ooh, what color, does that look okay? What color that is? It's kind of toning it down. That's pretty good. Okay. Well, let me see. I don't know. I'm willing to try anything. So let's see. This is enough yellow to go across the whole thing. So not pretty... Pretty bad. Pretty good. And it's still showing the grain of the wood, so it's pretty good. Let me see. I don't want too much. Whew, that's too much. Pan ya. Maybe I just need it around the edges there. That's a little bit different color. That's kind of looks good like that. Put a little more on the edge than we are on the top. 
and we'll leave it kind of goldish color on the top. Showing the grain. It does. Let me make sure I wanted to not have a big bunch of brown. All right, let's dry it a little bit because I don't want to get anything on there. Thank you. You like it? I hope so. <clears throat> let's see. We're gonna, gonna dry her up, at least the top part. Thank you for sprinkling, Leanne. I appreciate that. Good to see you here. All right. Now let's see. Let me take this off. Let me make sure I don't have anything on me. Let me get a, I just don't want to touch it and get all the stuff. Thank you for those hearts. Thank you for sending those stars, Miss Diane. You're so sweet. Didn't you just give me some? <laughs> I appreciate that. All right, let's see. So we're going to have our little aunt right here. She's going to have her legs spread out there. And we're going to set her here. And then we're going to set this in front of her. Or we could do it down. I don't know which one. Let's see. I was going to put the hand up here. Let me look at this. I got to look at it the other way to see what I want to do. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is funny looking. Let's see. We want to kind of do it to the side because this is funny. Oh, how cute. Okay, we're going to hold it right here so we want to have some glue. Where did you get the ant and the watermelon? I made them. I made them, Miss Sue. Thank you, Miss Cheryl. This was my vision. I don't know, but it's so cute. Let me get some of that glue, that glue gel, so it'll stay a lot better on the rind, but the angle, angle it. Yes. Let me do, we're going to put a little dab of that. And then put a dab right here. And I'm going to just hold it for a second. And then I'll show you what it looks like. We'll figure out. We want to put this to this. Thank you. I appreciate that. This is so funny looking. If y'all saw it up close, I'm going to have to take a really close up. Hola, Manny. Are you getting ready for a live? It's perfect, Miss Patty. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. Thank you. All right. So... Right now, we've got him attached, and we want to do the foot kind of at the bottom here, so I'm going to use the hot glue for that, okay? Just right here. Because we want him to lean like he's looking out beside there half an hour. I'm trying to hurry, Manny, so I don't get in your time. <laughs> All right, so we're going to hold it. And we're going to glue this onto the top of this, okay? So it'll be all one piece. So we're going to take this. I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue here and a little bit of this kind of glue. I'm going to do it right here. I'm going to lean it. Woo, come back here. It's going to take a little bit of hot glue as well to get it to stay. I'm putting some of the glues together, even though I don't like doing that because it does make a smell. Hey, Danielle, it's good to see you. So hold on. I'm 
And I'll probably have to touch it up some. Get it to look in my... <laughs> oh my. So there's some glue, glue sticky things. So here... <laughs> It's holding on to it, but this arm is free over here. You can't really see it. See that arm? It's kind of going like this. Hey! <laughs> so, so this is what it looks like. Like that. <laughs> Thank you, Ann. I think it's cute. Hopefully this will stay. Once, it, once the glue gel dries, then it should be fine. And all these little fuzzy things get off of there. It turned out so cute. I love its little head. It probably needs a big old bow on the top, right? I don't know. But I think it's cute, though. <laughs> and the arms over here are holding on to it. You came in late. Did you make the ant? Yes, ma'am, Miss Cheryl, I did. And I made the watermelon, too. But, of course, I did that yesterday and just put it here for me. Thank you, Miss Terry. And this is just one of those little things right here um, from the Dollar Tree has them, but I think they're smaller. And then this one right here came from Hobby Lobby. And I just didn't know what size I needed, so this ended up being the bigger one. A polka dot bow. Yeah, I need to do something because it needs some little something on here. You need to sit the bug on top of the watermelon. Yeah, that's a good idea too. Ooh, now it makes me want to do another one. You know what? We could do another one. I could do a smaller one and we could put it over here on this side. This one can be under here and then the other one on top. What do y'all think? <laughs> Oh my goodness, that would be so cute, right? I'll finish it after the live, and then I'll post it with the other one on top of it. That'll be so cute. Thank you for all those stars. You need to, uh, let's see, great idea. Adorable. Thank you, Miss Pat. Thank you. Thank you for those hearts. I appreciate those hearts. Great idea. That's what I think I'm going to do, because I can do a smaller one. I've got different sizes of these little... This one just happens to be one of the bigger ones right here. But um, it'll look cute with the other one. It's almost like they're playing seesaw. But this one's going to be on the bottom. I was thinking it needed to hold the watermelon. But I think having the little bitty one on top would be precious. Thank you, Miss Norma. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, Miss Pat Tonder. Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate that. So, um, I will finish it and do the other ant. That way you don't have to sit here and watch me on doing all that. And um, I will post it with some pictures. The smaller one's face down over the watermelon. <laughs> Thank you. You love it. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. Um, I will be on on Friday. Um, and I'll let y'all know, uh, what time and everything. Hey, Miss Connie, thank you so much for spreading the love. Hey, Michelle, great idea. I, yes, it, it does. It kind of just reminds me of a seesaw. Thank you for the hearts, Miss Diane. Thank you, Miss Elaine, for those stars. Y'all are so sweet to me. I really love y'all. I wouldn't have raced home if I didn't care, that's for sure. But the traffic wasn't bad, thank goodness. So I was happy to be here. It made me in a better mood because today was a rough one. But y'all have a good evening, and I will see y'all on Friday. And um, y'all have a good Thursday as well. I have all-day clinic tomorrow, so it'll be early and late. So, um, but y'all have a good evening. Thank you for those watermelons, hearts, and ants. Miss Pat. Hey, Christy. You have a great night, too, Michelle. Thank you, everybody, and I'll see y'all later, okay? Thank you, Brenda, for coming on. I hope you'll watch the replay. Bye, y'all.